going on guys? My name is Lane and welcome back to my draft only rebuild. So I looked at all the comments from last video. A majority of you said to take middle linebacker Dion Owens, but I want to read one of my favorite comments that I got from Scott Richards. He said, if you don't take Owens, I will want to strangle you. LOL. So I'm, I guess I'm going to have to do it. I want to get strangled. He's a 79 overall, quick development. We all know that he's 24 years old. He has 82 speed, 90 tackle, 87 block shed, 77 hit power, 89 pursuit, 80 acceleration, 85 strength. Great player. In the second round, we're going to take receiver Connor Murphy. He's a 74 overall, normal development, 24 years old, 96 speed, 90 acceleration, 80 catching, 76 medium route, 80 deep route. He has 91 agility. That wasn't the best pick, I'll have to be honest. Most of our second round talents are gone. Obviously, our whole list for second round talents weren't that long. With our other second round draft pick, we're going to take free safety Jefferson. He's a 74 overall, but he does have quick development, 22 years old, 91 speed, 70 zone, 71 tackles, 77 pursuit. In the third round, we're going to take another receiver, Adrian Byard. He's a 75 overall, normal development, 22 years old. That might be Bird, actually. 89 speed, 83 acceleration, 85 catching, 81 catch of traffic. In the fourth round, we're going to take another receiver, DeAndre Sidbury. Looks like he'll be pretty good. Guess not. 69 overall, normal development, 24 years old. 89 speed, 87 acceleration, 76 catching, 74 catch of traffic. Our draft board is completely empty, so we might take best available player. Right tackle Henson. No thank you. I don't really see anything. That doesn't look good whatsoever. What about Ogletree? Let's take him. Craig Ogletree, 66 overall? Never mind. I'm going to trade the rest of our draft picks till next year. What do we have? Six, seven, six, seven, six, five. Bunch of fives. A four from the Patriots. Have at it. And I think we have one more pick in the seventh round. We do. We're just going to trade that back. Probably for like a fifth round draft pick if we can. Let's see. Let's see. 777, seven, seven. no, no, five from the Patriots. Might as well get all their draft picks. Heading into the year, we're an 82 overall team. Woodfin's an 83, Harkey 91, Bright 86, Allison 78. We need better receivers. Dennis 89, the offensive line 71, 82, 75, 91, 79. We need a better offensive line too. Benjamin 83, Sharp 77, Womack 86, Patino 81, Jones 77, Simpsons an 87, Owens we moved over to left outside linebacker, he's up to an 83 overall which is awesome, Barnes 82, Robinson 85, Ross 86, and Patman 82, this secondary, these linebackers are looking great, well the, the back end of the secondary, we do need better corners, but let's go to the playoffs, didn't we make our team better from last year, at least in my opinion, because we missed the playoffs, how did we do, we went 4-11-1, this game is so bad. How is that even possible? The Jets went 13-3, Patriots 8-8, eight eight, Dolphins 5-11. 4-11-1. Woodfin had 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Pretty good year. Rushing. Gilliard, 555, two touchdowns. Harkey, 481 with four. Kirby with four. Why does my tight end have four rushing touchdowns? Bright, almost 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns. Allison, 800 yards, five touchdowns. That is 7-11 with 8 touchdowns. 2-7-82 and with 4 touchdowns. Gilead and Kirby with 2. 1 for Bird, 2 for Harkey. On defense, Robinson 99 tackles. Joan 97. Sack totals. 5.5 for Womack. 5 for Bettino. 5 for Sharp. 4.5 for Owens, the rookie. That's good to see. Interceptions. 2 for Simpsons. 2 for Klein. What? Where's Benjamin? Really? Okay. Don't really understand that, but if you say so, no safeties. No defensive touchdowns. Yealy awards, probably nobody. I'm not going to know anybody anyways. Actually, Baker Mayfield's up there at three. Just going to look for Lumberjacks. We're not going to be coach of the year. Why am I bothering? Hey, Woodfin at number eight. That's good to see. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie of the year. Hey, Baird at number nine. I was going to say number eight, number nine. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Owens at number two. I was hoping he would win that. Nobody else. Sheard, that's you know. Sheard, we're going to take the offensive lineman. Now, what do we have for XP? Woodfin has three, so he'll be an 86 overall next year. A good amount in the offensive line. We have two for two. And did, so, Allison got hurt? That somewhat makes sense. Actually, what about Harkey? Harkey got hurt as well. On defense, three for Benjamin. 
Only one for Owens. Really? Simpson will be a 91, though. That's awesome. So, really, what went wrong? Was our quarterback hurt for a part of the season? That's typically why when I do rebuilds, I turned injuries off. But I didn't want to do that for this. That's very strange. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl before we move on. In Super Bowl 65, the Texans beat the Vikings 25-14. to It's in the top left of the screen. I'm not going to go look at the stats. We won't know anybody. I mean, maybe Watson will be there, but who really wants to go there to look at one player? Who is going to be here? Shepard, of course, down to an 88 overall. I just want to give him one year. We have $82 million. He needs to hold together my offensive line. Yeah, I'm going to franchise tag him if we can. Moses is here. Definitely going to bring him back. Padman's there as well. Five years, six million. Let's go 2.8. Okay, he's going to sign it. That's good. Patman's there. Wait, did they upgrade this or update this rather? It says fair offer. Really? That has to be new, right? I'm going to give him five years, three million. A million. That, that definitely wasn't there before. There's no way. I don't even think available funds was there before. Why are they upgrading the game like this at the very end? Mad 20 comes out in like a month and a half, I think. I've been debating just sitting down and getting through all the games heading into Mad 20 so I can take like a month off. Let's go there and there. You would like to play for a new team next year. Well, that's a problem. Schuler, I'll bring back. Four years, two million. He's going to take it. That's good. Two and I have to bring back. We have almost no receivers. I'm going to have four years. Yeah, no, we'll go three years. We don't really need him. He is going to take three years. That's good. Vanover, Vanover, however you say it. Gilliard's there. Can we get him for two? We can. Two, 2.2. 2. Come on. Yes. Okay, that's good. Parks, no. Carter, no. Andrews, I don't want any of these guys. Kirby had four rushing touchdowns, but no thanks. Now, do we franchise tag the younger player and hope he can get better at the offensive line in the draft? I would almost would rather a right guard that's up there in age, even though that's crazy. He has quick development. I think he had one XP point, so he'll be up to an 82. We're going to have, oh, 15.5. What is it going to cost Shepard? 14.3. We have the money, so it's not a huge deal. But I feel like we have better backups at left end than we do in the offensive line. So I am going to franchise tag Shepard. I know you guys are going to call me crazy, but so be it. Let's get our puncher back. Why not? Two years, 1.9. He's an 84 overall. Okay, he's going to sign. That's good. Let's go to the draft. What I meant to say is let's go set up our draft board, but we have the second overall pick. We probably will trade back, but we're going to set up our draft board just in case we don't. Let's start off by looking at left end. Douglas Sloan, 7-2 combine. First in the bench press, third in the 40 yard, second in the vertical jump. He has B hip power and power moves, B minus pursuit. We obviously need a new left end, so not going to be a bad pick. We'll keep him at the top for now. Six in the three cone, seven in the 20 yard. If we have to take him maybe by trading back, that'll be fine. But I don't know if we want to do this in the second overall pick, but we'll see how it goes. Strong safety, John Frick, 7-4 combine. Look how good he is. I know we're set at safeties, but he looks so good. First in the 40 yard, the three cone, 20 yard, and bench press. His top three skills. B plus hit power, B minus pursuit and tackle. He'll probably go further down the list as we go on just because he's not a need, but I want him on a draft board just in case he falls. Free safety, Joda Whittington, 7-1 combine. Same thing. First in the bench press, third in the broad jump, three cone and 20 yards, second in the vertical jump, fifth in the 40 yard dash. He has B man and hit power, B minus tackle. Same thing. He's going to go further down the draft board, but just in case they're there if we trade back or something. Quarterback RJ Conway in A combine grade. Look at his, his combine report. Second in the 40 yard, third in the vertical jump, the three cone in the 20 yard, first in the bench press. His top three skills are so so. He is a scheme fit, which I like. B man, C plus press, and play recognition. Let's put him right above the safeties for now. Quarterback Rashard Holloway, 7 3 combine. He's first in the 40 yard. His three cone and his 20 yard, I don't really like. I'm not interested in his vertical jump or his broad jump. His top three skills, B man, B minus press, C plus zone. I don't know if we should really put him up a little bit higher just because he's a scheme fit. We do need corners bad. Don't get me wrong, but I like Conway a little bit more than Holloway. 
Cornerback Trey Jordan, 7-4 combine. First in the vertical jump of the 20 yards, second in the broad jump, fourth in the three cone, fourth in the bench press as well. B minus press and man C zone. I don't like his top three skills whatsoever, but we're going to put him right above the safeties just in case. Receiver Harvey DeManch? Is that how you'd say that? Maybe. 6-6 six, six combine. I don't like his combine report whatsoever. His top three skills are good though. B plus catching in short route, B medium route. We need that more than we need safety, so we'll put him right there. Left guard Victor Ship. Now we have Shepard, but obviously we need to transfer over from him eventually. First in the bench press in the three cone, third in the 20 yard, first in the vertical jump. B plus impact block, B run block, B minus pass block. Looks like an absolute beast. Let's put him right. Eh. Who do we need more, a left end or a left guard? We'll just bunch them together for now. Where's it say he's going to go? Mid first round. I can't wait to look at the trade offers. Right tackle, Brenton Murray. 6'4 combine. Ugh. I think we're just gonna get rid of him almost unless we can get him in a later round so we'll keep him at the bottom for now i just don't like oh let's go back into it i don't like his three cone i don't like his 20 yard fourth in the bench press is good don't get me wrong with 35 reps but i mean his, his combine report's so hard because he's good at the broad jump and the vertical jump it's just it's just strange though i know we're fine at linebackers but when i scouted this guy i mean look at him middle linebackers seven combine First in the bench press, the vertical jump, the broad jump. Third in the three cone in the 20 yard. Fifth in the 40 yard. His top three skills, A minus tackle, B plus block shed and pursuit. He looks like an absolute beast. I We're going to have to put him under the safeties just because he's not in need. But I almost want to take him and trade one of our other linebackers away. Not Robinson probably. I forget. Is it Benson? Is our other middle linebacker? I forget. Let's check it real quick. Like we could draft him potentially. It's not really going to help our team right now. Oh, it's Barnes. I was thinking, I don't know why it's not Benson. We could trade Barnes away. It'll be an 84 overall. That's probably not the greatest idea. Normal development. He's 26 years old. How old is Robinson? I can't believe Owens is already 25. Okay, Robinson is 28. So we could do that if we wanted to. How old is Ross? 28. So they're getting up there in age. But yeah, I, like I said, we have the second overall pick. If we could trade back and get him, that'll be fine. But with our second overall pick, we're not going to do that. Now, where were we? Receiver Normando Henry, what a name, seven combine, fourth in the vertical jump, second in the broad jump, a possession guy, 14th in the 40 yard, A minus short route, B plus medium route, B catching traffic, just because receiver is such a need, we're going to put him right above the manch. tight end, like we don't need a tight end, I know we have Dennis, but tight end of Javante Franklin, seven combine, look at that, first of basically everything except the bench press, his top three skills, B minus catching, medium route, and short route. Another one of those positions, we just don't need it. So I'm actually going to put him above the safeties for now because we have Simpson, so we'll be fine at safety. Let's go to our next guy, Ray Reynolds. 6'4 combine, right end. His bench press is not good. Third in the three cone, fourth in the 20 yard, first in the 40 yard dash. B finesse, B minus pursuit, C tackle. We almost have to move that right up to the top. Right under Sloan because Sloan's obviously better. Now, left tackle, Gregory Donald, 5'5 five, five combine. I don't really like anything about him, so he's going to stay at the bottom of the list. We are into the second round. Antoine Hunter, 6'8 combine. Third in the broad jump, 7th in the 40 yard, 18th in the 40 yard. Or, yeah, that's, that's what I meant to say. B plus short route, B medium route, B minus catching. Top of the second round, we'll keep him there for now. He will fall, though. Receiver Dawson Dunlap, 6'7 combine. 6th in the 40 yard, 9th in the vertical jump. Everything else is just bad. His top three skills are good, though. A minus short route, B catching, B catching traffic. He's going to go right above Hunter for now. Right end, what a name. Kirby Sandsenbarker? Seven, yeah, I, th I think that's how you say that. He has a seven combine. Second in the bench press, first in the ver vertical jump for some reason. 11 three cone, 12th in the 20 yard. His top three skills aren't all too great. I do like that his name's Kirby. So that's going to get him a little bit higher than Hunter. And we need an end, obviously. Right end, what are these names? Roosevelt Richards, 5'9 combine, right guard. First of the, oh God. I mean, his three cone, 20 yards, pretty good at fifth. 11th in the bench press. Top three is pretty good. Let's put him right above Kirby. We need offensive line help. You always need offensive line help. Cornerback Javon Rose, 6'5 combine. His combine report's terrible. That's the only way to put it. I mean, 10th of the three cones aren't right. 22nd in the 40-yard, I don't like. His top three skills, I don't like. I'm just going to take him off. 
Left guard Lane Janis, 5'9 combine. Third in the three cone, fourth in the 20 yard, 15th in the. Uh, if that bench press is a little bit better, I would definitely take him. We're going to put him right under Kirby. Receiver Jordan Alden, 5'9 combine. First in the 40 yard dash, awesome. Seventh in the three cone, 12th in the 20 yard. B short route, B minus catching, B minus catching traffic. Let's put him right under Richards for now. Receiver Morris Bailey, 6'3 combine, third in the 40 yard dash, 11th in the three cone, 16th in the 20 yard. His top three, B plus catching, B catching, B minus short route. I'm going to have to put him right under, actually, his top three is better than Alden. So we'll put him right above Alden for now. Center Thomas Popinga. What are these names today? Second in the bench press, second in the 20 yard, fifth in the three cone. I don't have to look any further. Let's put him right to the top of the second round. Another center, Lane Swift, 5'9 combine. Wow. First in the bench press in the three cone. Third in the 20 yard, broad jump, 40 yard. He's going right to the top two. We don't need two centers. We do need one, though. So that's probably going to be, wow, no, that was a third round guy? Are we already in the third round? I did not know that. Okay, let's keep him right there. Right end, Jabius Byard. Baird. I don't know how to say these names. 6'6 six, six combine. Third in the vertical jump, first in the broad jump. Fifth in the bench press is good. It's top three. B power moves, B minus tackle, B minus pursuit. We're going to have to, obviously, lane swift. Like, way more of a concern than a right end right there. Receiver, Vincent Fairley, 6'7 combine. I don't like anything about him, honestly, other than his top three skills. So let's keep him as he is. Sheroid Baker, 7'3 combine. Second in the bench press, third in the broad jump, fourth in the vertical jump. His three cone, his 20 yard aren't good. His 40 yards not bad at number 12 with a 4.51. But I think I'd rather fairly than him. And uh, what is this? Arcino Peterson, 6'3 combine. I don't like anything about him. Get rid of him. Into the fourth round, Laverie Low, 6'9 combine. This game's testing me today. Vertical jump second, broad jump first. The top three, B spectacular catch, B minus short route, C plus medium route. Keep him as is for now. Nigel Bass, 6'6 six, six combine cornerback, third in the 40 yard, eighth in the vertical jump, 17th in the three cone, ninth in the 20 yard. I just don't like that. That's terrible. Right guard, Patrick Olsen, six combine. Okay, now we're talking. This will be a steal in the fifth round. Fourth in the bench press, second in the 20 yard, fourth in the three cone, first in the broad jump. His top three look awesome. B plus impact block, B lead block, B minus run block power. Let's actually. Put that into the fourth round just to make sure we see him. Receiver Raymond Mabane, 6'6 six, six combine. His top three are awesome, which is why I'm going to keep him on the board. But I don't like anything about his combine report, to be honest. So let's keep him at the top of the fifth. Left tackle Mitchell Bear, 6 combine. Third in the bench press, that's good. Ninth in the three cone, seventh in the 20 yards. Top three is good. Let's put him right above Mabane for now. O'Neal Baker, cornerback, 6'8 combine. I like that his, his 20 yards fifth, his three cone sixth, 40 yard not all that great, his top three not all that great, so we we'll keep him as is. Receiver Ellis Pinnell, 7-1 combine. Okay, that's actually pretty good. He's six in the vertical jump. I wish he was a red zone threat. I guess he's not as tall as I'd want him to be for that. I just assume with the vertical jump, the broad jump, he might be a little bit taller. Six in the vertical jump and the broad jump, fourth in the bench press, B short route, medium route, B minus catching traffic, Keep Maz this for now. And the final guy on a draft board, draft board, Oscar Warwick, 6'3 combine. I love his top three skills. His combine, same thing, not really too spectacular. So I'm going to put him right above Pinnell. But that is it. So let's go to the draft, see if we can trade back. Now the Saints have the first overall pick. Let's see who they're going to steal right before us. Go to the next pick. Of course, the left end, Douglas Sloan. I really want to take him too. Let's review our offers. A one and a one. What are we in? We're in the 31 draft, so we'll be trading back to number 20. That's not bad. Not trading back whatsoever. I don't like that. Trading back to number 10. Now that I can get behind. We might just do that. That's eight more picks behind. That's not a big deal. Oh, okay. We could trade seven picks behind and get a pick next year and a number two next year. 11. Let's take this trade offer for the Redskins. We're only trading back seven picks. That's not bad. So let's go pick by pick. See how this is going to go. The Redskins traded up to get defensive tackle Octavian. Okay, not concerned about that. The Ravens. Whittington, the free safety. That's fine. The Raiders are going to take Victor Ship. Man, he's an 80 overall too. I would have loved to take him. 
The Panthers are going to select RJ Conway. That's the guy with the A combine grade. He was an 80 overall. The Dolphins are going to select Charles Reese. That's fine, but he's an 81 overall. It looks like an absolute beast. The Bengals are going to select Holloway, cornerback, of course. One more pick before ours. What's it going to be? Trey Jordan. So all the corners are off the board. I do want to look at the trade offers just in case. This is probably not, yeah, there's not going to be any one on one. So that's fine. We could just trade back to the next year. You guys probably don't want me to do that at this point because this will be over. This series will be going to be over probably a month or so. So let's go to our draft board. We could go Ray Reynolds. We could go Henry DeManch, Franklin if we really wanted to. Frick is there. Do we, uh, never mind. I don't want Murray. I don't want, I don't want to reach for that. Donald. Nope. I really don't know what to do with this pick. Ray Reynolds, I suppose? What do we get? Henry. The options are Reynolds, Henry, or we trade back to the next year. So Reynolds, Henry, or we trade with Denver for next year, get a three this year. Browns, I don't really want to do. Seahawks, we could do if we wanted to. Falcons, though. Could do the Cowboys, but they're typically good. So let me know. Henry Reynolds, or do we trade for one of these draft picks? Denver, Cleveland, I don't really want to do. Seattle, so Denver, Seattle, or the Cowboys. Definitely not doing the Falcons, but let me know down in the comments below. But that is going to be it for the video. So if you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content. If you want to get all my videos early, go to patreon.com slash headstronggaming. Get all my videos for a dollar two days early. For $5, you get an exclusive video a week. And at least once of those in the month will be a realistic rebuild. That's actually going to come out this Friday, the realistic rebuild. We did the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was a ton of fun. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.